107.5 WGCI, the show's number one for hip hop and R&B. It's the WGCI Morning Show with Leon Rogers, Here. Kendra G, hey. myself, Kyle. And we got a guest in the studio. Some might call this man the king of trap soul. Some <laughs> might even say that. You gotta, Yo. do, you gotta do a pause. Huh? You gotta do a pause. Go ahead. Now hit it. <laughs> What's up with your brother? Not much, man. How you feeling today? I feel great. Yeah, it's good to have you in the city, man. We've seen that you've been out and about the last couple of days, kind of experienced Chicago. You yeah. know, how you loving the city? I love it. It's my first time really kind of you know, moving around and, and being able to chill. So it was dope. Look, so give me that answer one more time. I'm sorry. Um, I said it was my first time moving around, being able to move around and just kind of, you know, vibe and look at this, uh, check out the city. It was great. And that's what's up. Listen, it's my first time meeting you, so I, I have to just tell you, I'm a super fan. Trap Soul was such a classic, um, but I'm a fan of other ways, too. Your girl's name is Kendra. That's my name, yep. so you know I love that. Your daughter is so beautiful. I am just such a big Bryson Tiller fan. Plus, I love the song. He don't want my love. I guess I got to move <laughs> on. I mean, listen, I was looking is that how for... I go? Yeah, she okay. don't want my love. That's I guess make, you gotta I gotta make sure. Move on. Okay. Yeah. Make uh, so you gotta talk to me. How do you and Diddy link for that song? Uh, man, it started with um, my song "Leaking" back in 2018. That was when I made the song, and uh, my, I sent it to my little brother. He sent it out to the wrong people, and then next thing you know, it ends up on YouTube. <laughs> the wrong people. <laughs> the wrong people. <laughs> the wrong people. Because I don't, I don't really send my music out like right. that. So uh, yeah, it ends up on YouTube, and you know, all these people are like listening to it, loving it, you know, and whatnot sharing all their stories about how they had to move on from a, a specific relationship. Um, and then, you know, years go by, I'm in LA working on my uh, working on my album, and Diddy's working on his album, and um, he invited me to the crib. We had worked on a, a different song for his album, but, uh, you know, I'm thinking that we're going to the studio to work on that, so he invites me to Malibu, I get to Malibu, and then he kind of shares a similar story about, you know, the relationship thing, moving on, and how the song really, you know, moved him. And um, no pun intended, but um, he was like, y'all want to use it for my album. So I was like, absolutely. Dope. Acts. Dope. Well, I just want to say on behalf of all radio jocks out there, I've seen millions of radio jocks panic when your song Don't Is On, and you hit that pause, and they think it's dead there. They be like, what's that word? Don't. Like, oh, we got it. Right? Lord have mercy. I thought I was going to get that. Um, talk about your creativity, man. And coming from Louisville, Kentucky, like being a guy from there, from my recollection, just off the top of my head, like the only one to kind of do it like that, as big as you've done it, as far as in the entertainment space. Um, what is your motivation? What are, what are your muses when you sit down to write music? Real quick, I just got to shout out my boy Jack Harlow from my city too. Okay, okay. <laughs> but, but you was out before Jack though, right? I was. That's what I'm saying. And ESTG as well. Okay. Um, but for my creative process, um, I, honestly, I just, I start with the beat. Um, I, like, I love to go in the studio and just kind of like mumble on the mic and just like gibberish ideas, whatever just comes to mind, um, melodies, and then I start writing. Sometimes it's the other way around. Sometimes I'll spend time like just writing in my, um, in my notes on my phone. And then or sometimes I'll walk in the booth and I turn a beat on, I don't write at all. I just like, we'll just like freestyle Please everything. Yeah. Let me ask you this, man, because I know the whole world was affected by it, but the music industry um, just as much as everybody else coming through the pandemic, you know what I mean? You're like you had some great success and then everything got shut down. How did that affect you personally? How did it affect your creative space? And you know, how are you coming out on the other side of it? You know, I was telling people it was kind of like a um, a blessing for me low-key because um, You know typically whenever we uh, release an album, I got to go like right back on the road um, right on the road tour the album promote ETC, but um since we couldn't do nothing we was in quarantine like I was able to like Stick and I stay in the house and work on as much music as I want to. So I yeah. made so much music. I made like a mixtape, um, Killing Instinct tune, and I made a Christmas album and um, just was featuring on a bunch of people's songs. So uh, it kind of worked out for me. Yeah, for um, sure. And I always loved the fact that I could just wear a mask too and nobody. <laughs> no, <laughs> <we are. laughs> that's kind of cool. You know what? You give me true artist vibes. Like, you just want to make good music, and, and that's what it is. I feel like, and I'll correct me if I'm wrong, because I feel like celebrity has changed throughout the years, you know, where your music matters, but shoot, your personal life matters. You got to be out here. And I feel like you just want to sing and perform, and that's all you enjoy doing the most. Is that true? Very true. Yeah, I love music, I love collaborating with people. I just, I do it for the love of the music. Yeah, you know? yeah. You, you, like right here, the vibes I'm getting from you, man, like you keep a very tight-knit circle. 
right? Your, yeah. your, your, yeah. your people, your, you know, it's not wild, which I think is an amazing thing. But what do you do for fun? Because you seem so laid back, like you just focused on everything, every question. What do you do for fun? Like, how do you blow off steam? Uh, video games. Video All right, games. so what's your plan? So what's your plan? So, because uh, I don't want you to get yourself in no trouble out here, because you might say a game title that I can load up and get down. Get no, down no, with. No, so no, that, no, don't worry. I've been playing this game for years. You what's you it, Call of Duty? No, 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 no. Apex well, Legends. Okay, I don't know nothing about that. <laughs> yeah. I thought you were trying, trying to holler something like COD, you nah. know, Madden. Nah. Yeah, okay. <laughs> nah, but I, um, I'm, I'm big on gaming. That was like my mm -hmm. first love. Um, music was something that I kind of picked up in high school, you know, just gaining popularity from, you know, uh, making a song with one of the homies. And, you know, I never really had popularity in high school. So, like, when people was like, like, yo, I heard the song, it just made me be like, oh man, I'm about to do this a little bit more, you know, and um, I kind of fell in love with making music, but uh, to blow off steam, you know, gaming, um, I love like water sports, jet skiing, okay. stuff like that, snowboarding. I like that you said that really quick because I know a lot of people, you know, everybody wants to always portray themselves as I'm the man, follow me, I'm lit. You know, just that comment you made, like, yo, I didn't really have a lot of attention in high school. I wasn't doing all that. It kind of came with your success of the music. Yeah. What kind of kid were you in high school and what kind of um, adaptation did you have to have once you became famous? Um, I was the kid that was just like walking around with his headphones in, listening to music, studying music. Um, I was... Uh, found myself trying to like fit in sometimes and you know the way I um I was trying to fit in was like by being a delinquent because like I went mm. to a school where there was like a lot of bad kids there so I would like cut school sometimes mostly to, I would cut school to go to the studio it's a crazy thing mm. um I didn't really care about the dress code I was wearing jeans but that was because I like ran away from home and I didn't really have too many clothes so I was like wearing like black jeans to school instead of like black slacks like they wanted us to but uh other than that you know nobody really uh you know, talk to me and maybe a couple people. Um, so you know, getting into the music industry was kind of a was kind of a challenge for me, just being around and amongst all these like you know celebrities and famous people. And I'm sure some of them was kind of like, man, he's just quiet and blah blah blah. Yeah. I'm just like, man, this is just all new to me. Like, I'm just not used to. It. And then fans will come up to me and expect me to be a certain way, or like when I'm in a club, they'll expect me to be a certain way. But I'm just like, this. I don't know nothing about this life. <laughs> you know what? I'm just here. I'm right? happy you brought that up because yeah. I feel like, you know, when Trap Soul came out, you were like, everybody wanted to talk to you. You know, like, everybody wanted the interview because your album was so amazing. It still is amazing to say. It's like a classic album. But it was it was told that, you know, he's not really doing interviews right now. Was it was that the reason that you had to just adjust to becoming a star? It was overwhelming for you? Absolutely. Super overwhelming. I just was just nervous about it all. I was just like, man, I don't want to say the wrong thing. Yeah. I don't want to do the wrong thing. It was just, yeah. It was well, crazy. how did you overcome it? Um, I just, it, man, I don't know, man. I just, it just, it took years. It took years. Get you a shot. We need to have some alcohol up in here. <laughs> that too. That, that too. <laughs> that definitely helped out, especially yeah. in the club. <laughs> Dream collab, man, dead or alive. You and two other artists. Dream collaboration. Dream collaboration. Dead or alive. Um, man, I've been thinking about this question because people always ask me this, and I'm always like, man, I, I always say everybody, and I'd be wanting to give people like a like a real answer, like somebody specific. Um, man, probably Frank Ocean. One collab collaboration I would love to do just to see what you know his brain could you know cook up for, for me and him. And then. Um, I don't know. I, I, everybody. I just, <laughs> I, I just want to figure out how I can make songs with Dope music with everybody. Yeah. Well, anybody would be lucky to work with you because you have the Midas touch. You really have, like, you. I'm, I'm putting you in the category of a Chris Brown that just can make a song and it's a hit. I appreciate that. I got to hear this Christmas album, man. Yeah, yeah for yeah, sure. Too, yeah, so November 1st is when I start listening to Christmas music. Other than that, yeah. I can't listen. Uh, <laughs> speaking, of, first, speaking of new music, you got Outside. That's going to be the new single. What's going on with the, the single Outside and the new music that you got coming? Where we at with that? So the Outside is the first single to my new album, um, which hopefully can release this year. It just depends on the business and whatnot, samples and all that. Um, you know, somebody, somebody might say that they don't want to clear this, a, a certain sample, which means I got to go make a whole new song about something, you know, because I hate like trying to like reproduce a song that I already have. So I just would like have to basically change up the whole album low key. Um, but uh, yeah, hopefully we can get it out this year. That's, that's just what I'm praying on. Um, you know, got got a couple more singles coming, a couple more videos. Uh, uh, you know, potentially some exciting features. So we'll see. 
Okay. And I mentioned top of the hour. How is daddy life? Your daughter is beautiful. Thank you. <laughs> like, literally, like, she needs to be a model if she's not already a model. But she's the cutest little Bronsky baby I follow on Instagram, and she's just so adorable. So how was daddy life? Um, it's been it's been tough because I've been working so much. Um, whenever the pandemic happened, I was, like, um, nervous because I hadn't toured since 2017, and I was just like... You know what I mean? I was like, dang, what is this gonna, what does this look like for the, my future? You know what I mean? For all of us as artists, I didn't think we was ever gonna see a, uh, any like venues ever again. I don't know why I was thinking that, but um, yeah, it's been tough. You know what I mean? Just trying to find balance between being in the studio. Like one thing I hate having to do is you know tell my kids like, oh, I'm working on an album right now, or I'm busy. You know what I'm saying? So like, um, just give me a little time. But luckily for Kelly, you know, since she's like only two years old, she don't even know what's going on. She don't know nothing about what I do. You know, it's my oldest one, nine, who's nine years old. It was like, it's tough. It's really tough with. But uh, um, other than that, you know, I try to find a lot of time for them in the summer. Summer is like my time where I like do all the dad stuff with them. Gotcha. Um, you know, they love Miami. I go to the beach all the time. I got a nine year old. I'm gonna give you some advice. Okay. Roblox cards. <laughs> that shut down everything. You, know? you come in, man. Yeah, fifty dollar Roblox card. Ball out. <laughs> That's true. My daughter loves Roblox. Roblox is the nine year old Roblox. Yeah. Listen, I, um, there's been a lot in the news lately. Um, you know, with Kanye West and free speech and mm -hmm. critical thinking and and free thinking. You as an artist, uh, I know free speech and and censorship are very important. You know, as far as like not being censored, being able to do what you want to do. What is your outlook and your and your stance on, like, you know, Kanye says, there's some people that you can't say anything about for fear of getting canceled. Mm -hmm. What is your outlook on that? And, and um, you know, how did you feel with some of the statements he said? Not necessarily whether you agree with him or not, but right. from your viewpoint as an artist, what did you feel about everything? I get this question, some not often, but sometimes people ask me, just from not, not even just people who are right. radio, just regular people like, yo, how do you feel about Kanye? And um, I mean, I always ask him, like, yo, you mean it's music or everything else? You know what I mean? But like, when it comes to everything else, I just, it ain't none of my business. You know what I mean? I just don't even pay attention to it. You know, um, it's music, obviously, I love it. Would love to work with him one day. Um, but yeah, I just, honestly, I just. Just, I like, just what I say, I just want to dope out. Yes. <laughs> I feel like we're getting to really know like who you are a little bit today, which I really like. So I want to hit you with three quick questions. Like you don't even got to go in depth, but three quick questions for Bryce and Tilla. What's the one thing you hate most about the industry? Um, fake friends. Mm. And the groupies. The groupies. You don't hate groupies. Yes, you know, he the groupies. does. Uh, no, I mean any that I. Yeah, I mean some. <laughs> As your lawyer, you don't have to answer that question, sir. As your lawyer, you don't have to answer that question. Question two, craziest fan experience. Craziest fan experience? Um, Once again, as your lawyer, you don't have to answer that question. We was in Norway, and we had just landed, and there was like a, a van of kids uh, just waiting on us to land. We got the airport. They literally followed us around the whole city. That's crazy. Ooh. All right, and last of the three, the last time Bryce and Tiller got into a fist fight. What happened? Seventh grade. Dang, Seventh that's been that long? Yeah. What happened? They tried to take I'm your lunch money? I'm not a fighter, you know. <laughs> I ain't mad at that, bro. I just, I just feel like everything can be fixed with words, and, you know, I can punch people with words. So. Ooh, mm -hmm. I like that. I like that. Bryce Attila in the studio, yeah, baby. The new man. single is outside. Yo, the song collaboration with Diddy, Gotta Move On, is going crazy right now. The remix. I love the remix. A lot remix. of people talking about this remix. Which one? Um, well, I like the, the one. Or the queens. The, well, the queens. what's what's with the kings? I haven't heard the kings remix yet. Fabulous, <coughs> and uh, I think Tory Lane. When's that one come out? I haven't heard that one yeah, yet. I, I think it's out right now. I'm not. No, look, only the ones that was with <laughs> Young Miami and Ashanti, and I was That's hunting the, for that one. Of course, one. you only heard the the queens remix. You know what I mean? We gotta, oh. we gotta hear them both. Well, Kyle, sure. Kyle and Kendra, if if this music thing, he ever gets tired of this music thing, the brother got a voice for radio. <laughs> Coming up next is Keith Sweat right here. <laughs> sure. You're right. The Kings remix is on. I'm about to play it right now. We got to get to it. All right. Last words, Bryce and Tillerman, for the city of Chicago, all your fans here in this whole entire area, what would like? Would you like to say to those people? Uh, man, Chicago, I love you. Thank you for holding me down. I had uh, amazing shows here. Um, I can't wait to perform this new music with y'all. You guys going to love it. Come see me on tour. Um, Outside. And tell the ladies, outside. she don't want you. <laughs> I guess I got a little more. You, like, you, you want to sing a little 10 seconds? She could do something. I know you got it. Yeah. <laughs> He's like, what's up? Like, like, yeah. like, 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 See the way my voice is set up. <laughs> <laughs> Bryce until on board. Yeah. Yeah. We appreciate you, bro, man. Thank yeah. you.